In this video, I'm going to show you how the bad hackers can gain your access to your computer without your password. So also, I'm going to utilize the Metasploit table, Windows 7 and the John the Reaper, including the Kali Linux. I'm utilizing the Metasploit table as well to make sure that I can demonstrate in this video. Before beginning, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share. The Metasploit table is a virtual machine that is intentionally make that vulnerable version of the Linux machine. So for the testing, security tools, and the demonstrating the common vulnerabilities. So that's how I'm trying to show you and demonstrate you in that virtual machine. What I can do is I can open the terminal and make it a little bit bigger for you. So I'm going to utilize the Nmap. Okay, so Nmapper is one of the common tools to scan any network. Let's do Nmap and that will be S the small s and the d okay and 192.168.35.129 because i'm utilizing the metasport table right here and then the ip is 129 it could be different in your environment but that's mine okay so st is the usually used for the tcp connection scan so that's how i'm trying to utilize the st okay you can also go hit enter and once you hit enter it will scan the application any opening port and if you see right here first thing is the 21 okay the tcp 21 port so it is open and then this is the service sftp and then this is 22 open this is ssh in this i'm going to utilize the port 21 so port 21 is the unsecured ftp connection let's do netcat on this port so let's try that netcat the ip address 192.168.35.129 and port 21 i'm gonna do that and hit enter once you hit enter you can do user i'm trying to utilize the virtual machine and then that is already vulnerable and this if you see right here this is the vulnerable one of the version that is vulnerable so i'm utilizing that so user and then that's the, i'm putting spy cyber and this one is the common vulnerability you can also identify in the internet or you can just do research because this is the one of the most common vulnerable like way 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 back and that's how i'm trying to utilize the the common vulnerability and then hit enter and then say ask the password okay so let's say password is password for example i'm just giving example it's not that but trying to connect and then it will actively active the connection okay that's it uh, it doesn't do anything so i can cancel here and then what i can do is sudo n map again s and uppercase s and then the ip address for the virtual machine that is vulnerable what i can do is dash p is port 6200 while we are trying to exploit right here we only scan the specific connection with the tcp synchronization so this only one way connection so it can actively scan that and then hit enter and it will ask for the kali password so i can put mine so you can put yours once I'm done with putting password, hit enter, and then it will actively scan that connection. Okay, so if you see right here, this is the port that is the actively active. What we did here is trying to connect and then make that active connection. Okay, once we do this, what I can do now, netcat again, and then now what I can do is 6200 on this port. Okay, and then hit enter, boom, ID. You are in the root so that is the vulnerability you don't need any password if you are using the production environment you need to update the any types of sftp connection with the latest version so i can do ip okay ifa let's do one more connection so user id ipa so so that's how you can try like multiple times if, if it doesn't work one time so you can do other times so it will 100 percent work so that's how i can identify that's the vulnerability i can utilize the metasploit okay msf console so i can exit from here and now i can do msf console and hit enter so if you see right here now we are in the metasploit so metasploit is already in the Kali linux you don't have to 
installed separately. This is kind of automation tools in the Kali machine, so you don't have to manually or customize the scanner. So Metasploit framework is a very powerful tool which can be used by ethical hackers to scan the vulnerability on the network and then servers on and the routers and so on. So the Metasploit framework is open source framework that is used to find exploit and the value system vulnerable. So that's how I'm trying to utilize that automation right now. So what I can search now is search V as very secure FTP daemon. Okay. Hit enter. Now you'll find that there is a one vulnerability automation models in the MSF console. So what you can do use is Jira and then you are in the back door very secure file transfer is one of the vulnerability uh, model okay so now you can do is options what you can do in the options is you have to put only the R host nothing else so uh, our port is already here so remote port and then remote host so our remote host is set our host set our host is 192.168.35.129 so that is our vulnerability uh, is machine okay and hit enter and then you don't have to do anything now just do run now you are already inside the root okay so if you see right here it found the cell so what you can do here i mean you can do ls you can do anything let's say for example if you want to do shut down okay so shut down jira i can do here you can see right here i can just do side by side here hit enter and then now you can see the machine is going to sit down okay so that's this is a powerful utilization of the vulnerability that's also the, like a cell is closed now what i can show you is ethernet blue so ethernet blue is the windows exploit created by the u.s national security agency which nsa and then used in 2017 wanna cry ransomware attack ethernet blue exploit a vulnerability in the microsoft implementation of the server message block which is smb version one that is the portal that will allow the connection on the machine from the kali linux so let's do that so what i'm going to do here is search ether null blue what you can do here is let's try to scan the machine right so what i am using right now is windows 7 like i mentioned so i'm utilizing the 192.168.35.103 so this is the machine which is exposed with the ethernet blue so that's why i install in the virtual machine it is one it is one of the virtual machine that is vulnerable if you do some research 2025 right now still like 2.3 percent of the users are actively using the windows 7 machine all right in this right now what i can do is number three let's scan that to make sure that it is vulnerable or not so use three and then so options and you can do is set our host also you can do is nmap nmap 192.168.35.0 slash 24 so we can do literally that and then you can find if you don't know the ip address or the windows operating system so you can literally do from here as well inside the metasploit if you see right here this is the one of the machine that i am talking about one of three and then what you can see here is now we know that this is the virtual machine that i'm looking for and then what i can do is show options and once you do show options you can do now we know the ip address okay and then we can do set our host 192.168.35.103 and then you can set that and then you can run so now you already know that that is the vulnerable machine including ms17-010 and which is windows 7 Pro Professional. What I can show you is search and you can use Jira. So this is one of the modules I'm trying to utilize because I know this will work 100%. And then you can do enter. After that, you can do so options again. So options, you have to put two things. One is our host and then the other one is L host. So L host is your Kali Linux machine. You can identify your IP address from ifconfig from here if you're using local machine, okay? You can do that and then you can find the IP address here. And then you can put this right here so usually we can do set our host first remote host 
dot 102 sorry 103 and then hit enter so once you set that what you can do is set l host l host is listening host which is our Kali machine okay so my ip is different than yours you can double check okay 28 and hit enter so now you don't have to do anything just do run it will do magic for you the connection has been already established for the exploitation right here let's reboot this machine okay first sometimes it happens you don't have to worry about okay let's wait to complete this everything remains same there's nothing changed and then let's try run again right here so if you see right here the all the metasploit exploitation sometimes it doesn't work so you don't have to worry but you can just try it it will 100 percent work ls and then you can see all of the windows system 32 files right here our main goal is to find the password okay so has dump so that is the meter operator has dump so you can dump the has on your local computer and then you can crack later okay so see right here the administrative password is here and then the john password is here you can copy this and then you can open the new terminal and do nano or you can just do whatever you want it i usually use nano and then say password cyber.txt and hit enter and paste it here save this one now i'm utilizing the john the reaper okay john the reaper is a free tools where you can easily find and crack the password so it is originally developed for the unix operating system it can run 15 different platforms on that note what i can do is i can type here okay so i'm also utilizing the rockyou.txt file so rockyou.txt file is the most common used password you can utilize that okay i'm gonna do john dash dash word list equals to this is the word list path okay so that's just make sure user just make sure you have that path share and the word list i'm just removing that and then i will say password by cyber.txt and then you can do format uh, equals to anti new technology that was way back once you hit enter it will immediately show your password that's the all of your password okay this is the john password this is the administrative password if it, if that is active active so it will show you right away because i believe john is one of the active users so let's see okay all right see right here so you can see the password here now with the john so now what you can do literally is you can come here you can log in with that password so a l q f n a two two just make sure the password is correct a l q f n a two two and hit enter boom you are already inside the computer that's how you know you can utilize this information to secure your environment so i hope you like this video please don't forget to subscribe like and share